So I've seen on the Steam forums and on Reddit, for Ready or Not, people talking that the attachments for the game don't actually do anything apart from, you know, just being there for cosmetic purposes. And I didn't think that could be right, you know, it doesn't sound right. So I've gone into game and I've done some tests looking at the barrel attachments and the underbarrel attachments to see how they actually affect recoil. And I can say they do affect recoil. So let's check out the barrel attachments first. So I'm looking at the assault rifles. So on the left, we've got no attachments, then the ash brake, SFM BM brake, and the suppressor. And you can see based on the metal girder, you can see at the top of the screen that the ash brake reduces the recoil the most because it doesn't reach the girder or the metal bar, whatever it is, at all. No attachments actually hits it and the SFMB and suppressor goes just beneath it, but the ash brake reduces the recoil the most. Now we'll check out the grips. So we've got no attachment, the combat grip, the speed grip, and the control grip. So first I'm checking out the ADS speed and grips don't seem to affect the ADS speed at all. And now let's check out the recoil. And you can see the control grip is the winner just by a small margin. So now I will test a rifle with zero attachments, just the ash brake, just the control grip, and both of the attachments together. And you can see that the effects do stack. Having the ash brake with the control grip really reduces the vertical recoil. So in my opinion, those two attachments are by far the best to have in a straight out and out firefight. The suppressor could also be a good choice because, you know, the suppressor does reduce vertical recoil. But if you really want that extra reduction, go for the ash break. I did also look at the flashlight, IR laser and laser attachments, but they don't do anything to affect recoil. They just serve their other functions, you know, flashlight lights up areas. Laser gives you that laser pointer and the IR laser gives you the IR laser in night vision. So if you found this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe for more ready or not tips, gameplay, guides and streams. And thank you for watching.